So apparently in Queens, a mentally disabled man in a wheelchair went on a stabbing spree and stabbed four people in an apartment building out there. And I just want to know how. Certain stories that come out, I just be seeing that flashbacks my timeline, how I do my selection. I just see it and I just be like, yo, I have to do a story on that. I have to talk about it. Can we talk about it? So how do you go on a stabbing spree <laughs> in a wheelchair? First off, how you let somebody in a wheelchair stab you? Was he knocking on doors in the apartment building? It's so much about this story that's so confusing. So apparently, he was well known in the building for being crazy. He's the crazy person in front of New York. If you know New York, 50% of people in New York is crazy. I, matter of fact, 75, 77% of people in, in New York is absolutely crazy. And other 33 is crazy by proximity. So we all crazy in this city. But to get stabbed by a man in a wheelchair, you gotta be a little you gotta be a little bit left because I'm running. I'm gonna kick your wheelchair over. I'm sorry. You trying to stab me and you in a wheelchair. I clearly got the advantage. So he stabbed four y'all. I just wanna know how did he do it? What kind of knife was it? Was it a retractable knife or something? Did he have a big butcher knife or a mini sword or something? How did he just stab four y'all by a man in a wheelchair in an apartment building? Bro, I'm gonna kick you down the steps so fast i'm a 300 kick you in your chest can we talk about it i don't condone violence and i don't condone people getting stabbed up. i don't condone none of that but a man in a wheelchair going on a stabbing spree is absolutely insane y'all couldn't all go together and just lift him out the wheelchair all you gotta do is knock the chair over he cannot catch y'all he gotta crawl to catch y'all and it's kind of messed up i don't even want to be talking about this but this is the topic at hand can we talk about it i really want to know and this is him this is literally photos from him y'all know i do the best graphic design y'all need some graphic design work and you need some marketing corpy Corpy Ink is open. We're just going to call it Corpy Ink. You know what I mean? And that's him. He looked deranged. You, anybody, you see anybody with that face where they just manic and you just see the craziness in their face? Stay away from them, especially in a wheelchair. Did he have like a rocket, like one of them um, ejector seats in his wheelchair? He spring up and stab you like a jack in a box or something. He just pop out the wheelchair and stab you. Like, can we talk about it? And again, I'm sorry for the victims, but y'all let a man in a wheelchair stab y'all up. That's a little bit too crazy. All right. That's a little bit too crazy. And then they said he was rolling around <laughs> to apartment building looking for more victims and stuff like that. Now, that is a little bit absolutely crazy that y'all let this man in a wheelchair do this to y'all. And look how the police call him because this is New York City. Spring and summer New York is already starting off to a crazy start. It's going to be a wild spring and a wild summer and a wild the rest of the year. Because 2024 has been absolutely crazy since Cat Williams did that interview. I swear to God, since Cat Williams did that interview, it's been crazy. The same thing with Kobe. Remember when Kobe died in 2020 and then it just got crazy. It just got crazy. That's, I think that's when the pandemic started and all that other stuff started. So now 2024 has already started crazy since that Cat Williams video was sharing the show. And now you got somebody in a wheelchair stabbing everybody up. Can we talk about it? Again, what did he have like an ejector seat in the wheelchair and he just like boom, 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 boom. Again, and it's an apartment building, so I really see somebody in a wheelchair knocking door to door like he had door to a Jehovah Witness or something, and you open the door, he just stab you like where? It's a little <laughs> It's a guy on a wheel. And then you thinking he's not um, threatening because he's in the wheelchair. He's some of the most dangerous people in the world. How do you think they got in there? I mean, again, this is New York. But New York is not a real place. I keep telling you all that. I'm starting to believe that God just be up there just writing stories about these places. He just be watching us like we watch reality TV. Like we watch reality TV and Netflix and all other um, streaming apps. God just be watching us like, what are these people doing? That's why we got free will to do stuff like this. Like imagine you really get, yo, who stabs you? The man in the wheelchair, he rolled off. Rolled where? Like I'm kicking, yo, bro, I'm going to hurl you out. Again, no disrespect to nobody. But listen, it's, if it's me against you, you, you're not going to win unless you got, unless he got a rocket booster in the joint. Remember Scary Movie 2 where he had the rocket booster in the wheelchair? Can we talk about it? Again, nothing against nobody, but I'm not going out like that. You're not catching me. I'm going to run past you. Huh, 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 huh. That's me. Again, you're not catching me. Again, did, was he throwing it? Did he have like a little um button on it that shoot, like, like shoot knives at people to stab them? I really want to know how y'all let this happen. Four people. And again, he went on a spree in an apartment building. And it's a Queens apartment building. I'm assuming it wasn't an elevator. I'm assuming it was, um well, he lived in a building. So, and it was his building. Like, he, again, how you, you, he stabbed his neighbors up. Yo, this world's getting a little bit crazy. Can't we talk about it?